This is how you this is how you come back right here. Oh my god! Are you freaking kidding me? What's going on guys? It's your boy CBS and we are back with another connected franchise owners mode fantasy draft edition and this time I was gonna do like I normally do which is play one skip two but we are getting ready to face the Miami Dolphins and we are both 7-2 and if I want any chance of winning the, the division I feel like I should play this game to kind of maybe ensure us making the playoffs. I don't think we should have any issues but I don't want us to lose the division, so I'm going to go ahead and play Miami and see how that goes. We are moving up. Our success rate's high. Everything, all our stats as far as team value is in, on the up and up. So, And uh, LaShawn McCoy is back for this game. He was injured last game. And uh, we still got Adrian Wilson on the injury injured injury report. Excuse me. Man, my, my words are getting all jumbled. But, yeah, he's still on the injury report, so we'll have to go another week without him. But... With that being said, let's get right into it. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Bortles, it's Dolphins, going up against Newton's Bills. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 11 matchup. It's the start of another week of NFL action, and that means it's Thursday night in the NFL here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Bill Sims getting set for this important matchup late in the year. The playoff chase is on, and every game is an absolute must. Partner, how about it before kickoff? I think, Jim, during the year, you could get such differences in emotional levels for football team. One game means more for... Uh, one team that it does the other. We have two teams where everything is the same. It's all on the line, so emotionally and physically, they're going to be even. Now we're going to find out who can go out on the field and execute and give their team the best chance to win. So that means Devin Hester will be Devin back Hester. The kick. Let's go. Now let's see how much the rain affects us in this game. It shouldn't be too much of an issue, I don't think. In the uh, in our stories earlier on the. Um, on the home page, they were talking about how Vic Ballard was upset that he lost his starting job, but he didn't really lose his starting job. He just relinquished his job back to the original starter, which is LaShawn McCoy. And why would he think that he would do anything but restart LaShawn McCoy? So, Look at that right there. Get off me. LaShawn McCoy, baby. Coming back off injury, injury and making plays, baby. Let's do it. That's how you come back from an injury right there. If you make plays right off the bat. And you know what's coming next. I'm going to hit uh, old trusty Victor Cruz on an out route. Maybe I'll get the end zone here. Play action. Victor Cruz. Let's go. Victor. Hey, Victor Cruz. Let's, let's, bring the, let's bring the blitz a little bit. See if that can make a difference. We got Bowman coming off the edge over here. Let's go, baby. Make a play. Make a play. Make a play. Oh, they tried to run a. Re they ran a reverse when I ran the corner blitz. What perfect play calling right there. I'm gonna run the blitz again with the press coverage on the outside. See if this can this make a play for us. Oh my God, Dion. Oh man. Here you go. Third crucial third down here. Let's make a stop here before we go into halftime. There you go. Nice stop right there, baby. Good stuff. No CJ2K over here. Let's go, boys. Let's make a play. I'm liking what that's happening right here. Let's go, Dion. Make a play. Make a play. There you go. Off the line nicely. Getting double teamed. Stopped them. That's how you do it. Another goal line stop right here. Miami's got a nice offense, though. All right, let's see if we can we can do something with 32 seconds left. Got good blocks. Got good blocks. 
Got good blocks. Let's go, Deshaun. Let's go. Turn on the burners. Oh, my God. He gets stopped down at the five. Let's go, baby. You know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that number 80 salsa special. On a ho, whoa. There you go. Let's go. I got you, Victor. No. Oh, my God. I thought he freaking in it. Let's go, Victor Cruz. <laughs> I thought I threw a pick right there too. I got hit under pressure. He stepped in front of him. He just slipped in the rain. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Let's go. Make a play, boys. I'm calling a kind of a an awkward defense. Deion Jordan. Let's go. He's a man on a mission down there. Cannot be stopped. Oh my goodness, no! What the? I get burnt with the Hail Mary at the end of the second quarter. Let's check out these highlights and let's get right into this freaking second half. Welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. Both teams have played a clean first half and that there are no turnovers to this point. That being the case, it's no surprise that we have a very close game at halftime. All right, let's roll those highlights. Midway through the first quarter. Tight coverage here, but the completion is made. And this will go all the way for a touchdown as they put the first points on the board. Now to late in the second. Newton's going to complete the pass, and he'll end up at the five-yard line before being tackled. Staying late in the second. The pass will be completed into coverage. And after the short pass, he'll score. The lead now at eight. Staying late in the half. The long ball will find his mark here. And 53 yards later, he'll go in for the score. Closing that gap to eight. So as we wrap things up, we'll go now back under the lights where Jim and Phil are on the call. We gave up way too many points in that, in that first half, especially that ridiculous Hail Mary at the end. So let's make a play here, guys. All right, fellas, they're, they're driving down the field with us. We need to make a play, something to turn the tables back in our flavor because they got the Hail Mary at the end of the second quarter. And we need to turn the tide. Are you serious? Right when I say that, oh, good hit, Sean Lee, on the sidelines. We'll let Chris Johnson break it. Damn. Let's go, Dion. Make a play now. No. There you go, D. Milner. Let's lock it down like normal, and let's let's hold him to another field goal in the red zone. No, my God. Wes Welker squeaking open again, man. I'm gonna go vertical shake and look for Dennis Pitt across the middle. I see you, Dennis Pitta. First down, baby. All right, second and one. A crucial drive for us. Let's make a play. Hopefully, maybe Shady can break it here. There you go, Shady. Stiff arm. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Shady's back, boys. All right, people. It's fourth and two. We need a first down to stay in this game. Let's go, Shady. Get this first, baby. Let's go. First down. That's what I'm talking about. And it put him over the century mark. That's the time to celebrate right there. This is how you, this is how you come back right here. Oh, my God. Are you freaking kidding me? What the hell? No way. Wow. Talk about late game plays, man. What a terrible time to throw an interception. Brandon Merriweather takes me back 105 yards. All right, we got no more time to be throwing conservative runs and plays and passes. We got to go big 
wrist this time. So let's see what we can get here. I got I'm looking for Sanders or Hester deep. But they do got over the top coverage. Oh my god, Devin Hester. Devin Hester. Oh my god. Man, I had him. Step up in the pocket. Make a run for it, Cam. Make a run for it, Cam. Just get out of bounds. There you go. Just get out of bounds. We gotta we gotta come back here. We can't we can't go out on a loss against our division rival. I see you, Dominique Hickson. On the ball. On the ball. Run, run, Cam. Run, Cam. Let's go. Cameron Newton. No. Yes. Big play by Sean Lee. We stopped him on a three and out when we needed it the most. Here we go, Cam. Here's our chance, Cam. Here's your chance to to solidify your, your position in this division. Come out with a big fourth quarter comeback right here. Oh my God. De Deshaun Jackson on the first play. Let's go. And he slides in like a boss. Let's go. Third and long. I'm running the basic, basic prevent defense here. Deion Jordan, let's go. Let's, let's seal this game, man. Deion Jordan, seal the game like a boss. That's right. Shake hands. High fives for everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed another nail biter. Wow. Let's go. Let's let's go to the player stats and let's see what we got. All right. So Buffalo Bills, all that matters. Cam Newton, 18 for 16. Definitely not as accurate as he was last game. Three touchdowns and a pick six again. Man, he's got to clean that pick six game up. Rushing. Shady McCoy's back, so we had a 100-yard rusher again, which is nice. It was good to have that speed back in the backfield. Receiving, I don't, I didn't really throw it very accurate at all. Pitta had five. Jackson had five with a long touchdown. How long was that touchdown? An 80-yard bomb. That's what I'm talking about, Deshaun. Victor Cruz had four with, for two TDs. Dominic Hickson had a good crucial first down catch. So did Stalker. So Emmanuel Sanders got he kind of got snubbed. He only got one catch all game, but for no yards at that. But you know, you take what the defense can give you, and he didn't. They weren't giving us a lot. But I will say that Deion Jordan was out there acting like a freak with five sacks this game. What up? So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.